Life has been a battle the last couple of years, both physically and mentally. The whole world is still feeling the effects of a global pandemic. People more than ever struggle to make ends meet, have lost loved ones, and till this day are trying to navigate their new normals. I want to clearly state that I'm grateful to have my health be turning in the right direction. And I'm also incredibly grateful to have loved ones who help me keep my head up on a day-to-day -day basis despite these trying times. I'm grateful to be where I am today, and I'm sure many of you watching this are too. But that doesn't mean it doesn't feel like life sucks sometimes. Sometimes it feels like everything is going downhill with no end in sight. Sometimes hard work feels pointless when nothing seems to be coming to fruition. Sometimes the frustration of not achieving everything you sought out to becomes so suffocating that you begin to lose your confidence in yourself. But the key word here is sometimes. During the past two years, as the whole world has gone through unprecedented changes, I'd gone through many experiences that were unprecedented for myself. I went from rarely catching colds to contracting two chronic kidney illnesses. I lost the last of my grandparents. I had to step away from two startups that I personally helped to form. I dropped out of Stanford grad school. The medication that was saving my life made me so weak and so heavy that I couldn't do the things that kept me sane before, like weightlifting and basketball. My face got so swollen that I felt ashamed to post videos on this channel that I worked so hard to build. The combination of hospital bills, not being able to work for months at a time, and slowed YouTube growth also had me feeling stressed financially. All this to say that life has hit me pretty hard the last couple of years. But again, the key words here are the last couple of years. Before this, I was on cloud nine. I felt invincible in that I could handle everything all at once. I was succeeding with everything that I was involved in, school, ventures, and side hustles. But I let it all get to be too much. My body couldn't handle the stresses that I was putting on it on a day-to-day -day basis. Juggling full-time positions at two startups, a YouTube channel with over 100,000 subscribers, and dealing with grad school all at the same time was admittedly insane. And today, I believe that stress was the reason why my body collapsed in March of 2021. If you would have asked me what I hoped to achieve as an MIT senior, I would have told you that I would have wanted to become a CEO of my own billion dollar company. And although I still think that may be in the cards somewhere down the line, I would now answer that question by saying that a successful life for me would be one in which I was healthy, a loving father, financially free, and a provider to all of my loved ones. That shift in mindset doesn't mean that I'm any less likely to achieve the aspirations that I set out to. It simply means that I'm going to be focusing on slightly different aspects of my life on a daily basis. More specifically, I now actively strive towards increasing both my mental and physical health spending quality time with loved ones, and taking tangible steps towards financial freedom. Physically, I continue to do everything that I can to curb the terrible side effects that were happening to my body. I had taken salt completely out of my diet, shifted to only natural foods, and made sure to work out every chance I was able. The last six months, I've taken that to another level. Since getting cleared at the end of May, Michelle and I got a gym membership over here, and I've been hitting the gym six days a week, mixing up weight training with pickup basketball. We've also made a concerted effort to only eat meals that are cooked at home, with a few exceptions, of course. I'm still far from where I want to be, but I have been able to see and feel noticeable results. Mentally, I've also started to take more concerted efforts for myself, including taking the time to learn and soak up the experiences and lessons that come my way. Although I have less responsibilities these days at work, I can still put my best foot forward and learn from the great leaders I have the privilege of interacting with on a daily basis. Learning is something that has remained a constant in my life. I strive to learn something new every day, whether in terms of entrepreneurship, personal finance, and of course, STEM. For those of you who value learning like me and want to learn or polish up your knowledge of topics in STEM, I highly recommend Brilliant. The best way to learn anything is by doing it yourself. Brilliant allows you to learn interactively with fun hands-on lessons in math, science, and computer science. This type of learning helps you learn six times more effectively than just watching lecture videos. Instead of just making you memorize topics, Brilliant teaches you how to think about STEM by guiding you through fun problems. You'll get practice with your problem-solving techniques and with your critical thinking. Each problem even comes with a step-by-step -step solution that helps you understand the reasoning for each step. I personally recommend some of the foundational courses like Computer Science Fundamentals so that you can later build on those skills with Brilliant's more advanced courses. 
Join the millions of people already learning on Brilliant with a special offer just for my viewers. Head to brilliant.org slash KJ to get started for free with Brilliant's interactive lessons. The first 200 viewers will also get 20% off an annual membership. Huge shout out to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. An important step that I took in my mindset shift was to open up my struggles to my other half, Rochelle. I was down until you saved me, until you set me free. My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day. And I just wanted to say that you can take me high. Feels like I can fly. Can take me high. She's more than a best friend and a significant other to me. She's my partner in all aspects of my life. Michelle was there in the hospital every day as I battled my diseases. She was there as I returned home, making sure I never got too down given the situation I was in. She also removed salt from her diet as much as possible and shifted with me to non-processed foods. Today, she also continues to help me financially by taking on her rent obligations as I pay off all of the higher interest debts of my life. As I've started to get my health back under control, we now go to the gym together almost every day and I've enjoyed being so close to friends and family here in Boston. I truly believe that I wouldn't have had the speedy recovery that I did have if I didn't have her in my corner. Life has been different recently. I have a lot more free time on my hands because I'm not jamming my schedule with multiple ventures and side hustles these days. I've focused my energy to just the experiences, ideas, and people that I care most about. I have evenings where I literally force myself to do nothing but work out and reflect on my life. I still love exploring stocks, putting together business plans, and making videos, but I've learned to keep those in moderation. I also give myself longer timelines to achieve the goals that I want to, and that's okay for me at this point in time. I used to rush myself with arbitrary timelines to achieve goal X by the time I'm 25 and goal Z by the time I'm 30. I'm starting to understand that I do have time and that I can actually enjoy the journey that is life. I've learned to not celebrate the highs for too long and to also not dwell on the lows for too long. For as great or terrible things may feel in the moment, this too shall pass. And you'll have to continue to put your best foot forward tomorrow and every day you have after that. Unfortunately, the rest of the world doesn't stop or slow down when you need to regroup yourself and recover. But even taking one step forward at a time is forward progress. Living with a chronic illness that could return and flare up at any point keeps everything in perspective for me. Now, instead of having a 10, 15, 20 year plan for my life, I make sure that I set goals that will put me in the best position to live a fulfilling life tomorrow, next month, and over the next year. There's no point pre-stressing future negative events that I've fabricated in my mind when frankly, I don't know how long I have on this earth. Look, this wasn't supposed to be a sad video and I'm still working hard every single day to make sure that I live the fullest life that I can. But I just have a different perspective these days. Despite all of the negative events that have taken place in my life over the last couple of years, I recognize that I still have a pretty awesome life. I live comfortably here in Boston with the person that I know I'll spend the rest of my life with. I have awesome friends that continue to pull me out of my daily grind. I've already lost close to 15 pounds from my peak as I continue to grow stronger than I ever was before. I can play basketball again, albeit without the athleticism I'm used to having, but positive progress nonetheless. I work at a startup that has incredible people who I can learn from every single day. So yeah, life sucks sometimes. The word sometimes, though, signifies not only do those bad times come to an end, but also that the good days outnumber the bad. Recently, I've felt a tangible shift in the positive direction, and I'm grateful for that. If you set up your life in a way where you're always looking forward to tomorrow, then you'll always do the necessary things today that will set you up for your definition of success. Times get tough, but understand that you can only control the things that you can control. So stressing things outside of your control is both unproductive and unnecessary. Your belief is something that you can control. 
your motivation is something that you can control. You need to start with whatever you need to do in order to convince yourself that you're worthy of great successes in the future. Lastly, the most important thing is to keep your head up and remain optimistic because if you don't believe in yourself and your ability to succeed, then nothing will come to fruition in your life. Thank you for coming along with me on my journey and for living out all of these events with me. I will continue to try to lift up as many people as possible through my videos and through my everyday life, but I also hope that you all are doing your part by lifting yourselves up and making sure that you believe in everything that you can achieve as well.